With its OLED display and portable form factor, the new VivoBook Pro 15 OLED K6502 is designed to meet the demands of creative professionals who are often on the go. ASUS has put a lot of thought into finding a balance between performance and versatility, but there's also one hidden feature you won't find in the spec sheet. On the outside, the VivoBook greets us with an aluminum lid, bearing VivoBook branding and a plastic chassis. Both of them combined give you a weight of 1.75 kilograms and a profile of 20 millimeters. The more interesting part is the antibacterial coating, which covers the entire base and prevents the growth of more than 99% of organisms that make contact with it within a 24-hour period. The lid opens with one hand and can also lay completely flat. As you can see, the bezels of the laptop are very thin. The top one has an FHD webcam with a shutter, along with a triple array microphone with AI noise cancellation. The keyboard is excellent, with a numpad, long key travel, and clicky feedback. It's got a backlight as well, for more comfortable use during nighttime. The touchpad is quite big, so accurate tracking really helps when traversing its surface. The port selection is full of stuff, split between the two sides. On the left, there's a 5 gigabit full-sized USB port, an audio jack, and an SD card reader. This leaves the bulk of the ports on the right, with one Thunderbolt 4 port, one 10 gigabit USB Type-C port, one more 5 gigabit USB port, an HDMI 2.1 port, and a LAN port. There are two panels to choose from, either a 144 Hz FHD IPS display or a 120 Hz 2.8K OLED panel. Focusing on the OLED panel, it reaches a peak brightness of 400 nits, as well as 100% DCI-P3 coverage. Accuracy is great out of the box, as you get a Delta E value of 1.2 with the stock settings, thanks to the Pantone validation. The display is very quick, with a response time of just 2 milliseconds. It also delivers excellent and deep blacks, with HDR500 True Black certification. On the other hand, there's harmful PWM usage up to 80 nits. If you want to get rid of it, you can apply our HealthGuard profile, which keeps the accuracy and coverage intact. We'll leave a link to it in the description below. Pairing the laptop with a 70 watt hour battery unit and an Alder Lake H series CPU results in 8 hours and 2 minutes of web browsing or 7 hours and 2 minutes of video playback on a single charge. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. More importantly, the Core i5-12500H delivers incredible performance from its 12 cores and 16 threads. And if you need even more power, there's the Core i7-12700H. Both in 3D and 2D rendering, you'd hardly find anything that comes close to Intel's offering. The RTX 3050 and RTX 3050 Ti that are available offer a 65 watt power limit. And here's the surprising feature we talked about. Although it's not a gaming notebook, the VivoBook Pro 15 has a MUX switch, allowing you to unleash the full potential of the GPU. It lets you connect the display directly to the NVIDIA graphics, thus greatly increasing the GPU performance. It does, however, come at the cost of some battery life. The RTX 3050 is great for 1080p gaming, and you can get even better results in DLSS-supported titles. Obviously, the main job of the GPU is to render videos, and in that case, you'd find it more than suitable. Beautiful. On the inside, the cooling setup mimics the ones inside gaming machines, with two heat pipes covering the CPU and GPU, and two fans on the left and the right. It takes good care of the Core i7-12700H, both in the short and long runs. We saw spikes of up to 85 watts and 3.08 GHz, while in prolonged loads the chip easily maintains 50 watts. The GPU is handled pretty well, with a constant 62 watts maintained, along with a clock speed of 1755 MHz. The cooling does ramp up and can get loud when in performance mode. However, temperatures and hotspots remain cool and under control, so we're quite happy. The VivoBook Pro 15 OLED uses up to 16GB of soldered DDR4 memory, 
while also bringing one SODIMM slot for future expansion. There's one M.2 slot for Gen 4 SSDs, hidden behind a metal bracket. We have a separate teardown video, which shows how to access both the RAM and storage slots. The VivoBook Pro 15 OLED is an amazing option for creators, bringing some of the best available hardware, along with a fantastic high refresh rate panel. Having a MUX switch is a great addition as well, allowing you to squeeze as much performance as possible from the GPU. The Editor's Choice Award shouldn't come as a surprise.